Hello everyone. Welcome to Ortho Implants for Life. This week we will discuss about different types of proximal tibia locking plates and other related instruments required for proximal tibia fracture fixation. So let's begin. Today we will discuss about proximal tibia locking plate. To start with, this is proximal tibia locking plate lateral. This is a 4.5 system. This is also known as the hockey stick plate. This is fixed on the lateral side of tibia. This is available in different sizes from 5 hole to 11 hole with two holes gap in between like 5 holes, 7 holes, 9 holes, 11 holes and for some companies you might as well get 13 holes and 15 holes. This is a side specific plate available in left and right. Next is T buttress locking plate. This is also a 4.5 system. This is a universal plate. It is not side specific. It is available in different sizes starting from 4 holes till 10 holes with 2 holes gap in between like 4 hole, 6 hole, 8 hole, 10 hole. Next is proximal tibia lateral buttress plate. This can be fixed in the middle as well as the lateral side of tibia. It is also a 4.5 system available in different sizes starting from 4 holes till 10 holes with two holes gap in between as in four hole, six hole, eight hole, ten hole. This is a site specific plate. It is available in left and right side. It is available for left and right side. Now we will take a look at the 3.5 system. To start with this is a proximal tibia anterolateral plate. It is available in different sizes starting from 4 holes up to 12 holes as in 4 holes, 6 holes, 8 holes, 10 holes, 12 holes this is also a side specific plate available for left and right leg Next is proximal tibia posterior medial plate. This gets fixed in medial and posterior side of tibia. This is also available in different sizes starting from 4 holes up to 12 holes with 2 holes difference in between. This is a universal plate. And lastly, proximal tibia locking plate medial 3.5 system. This is also available from 4 holes to 12 holes with 2 holes gap in between. 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. This is a site specific plate. Available for both left side and right side. Now coming to the instruments used. This is a K wire. It has got two functions. Firstly, it holds the plate in the fracture site. And secondly, it holds the fracture together and performs reduction to the fracture. For proximal tibia, we will need K wires of different sizes starting from 1.5 up to 2.5. The sizes are 1.5 mm, 
1.8 mm, 2 mm and 2.5 mm. These four sizes are required. 1.5 mm and 1.8 mm K wires are used for holding the plate in the fracture site and 2 mm and 2.5 mm are required for performing reduction to the fracture. Quantity required for each of the size are for 1.5 and 1.8 we require 2 pieces each for each size. 3 pieces are required for 2 mm and 2 pieces of 2.5 mm. Now for non-locking screws, to guide the drill, we use these drill guides. One is a 4.5 mm drill guide, another one is a 3.5 mm drill guide. This drill guide helps to avoid damage to soft tissues while drilling. For locking screw, in 4.5 system, we will require a 4.9 mm locking sleeve. This sleeve gets locked in the locking hole of the plate and we drill through the locking sleeve. For 3.5 mm system, we will use a 3.5 mm locking sleeve. This one also gets locked in the locking hole and then we drill through the locking sleeve. After locking the locking sleeve on the plate, our next job will be to drill through this locking sleeve. For 3.5 system, we will require a 2.8 mm drill bit. And for 4.9 mm locking sleeve, we will use a 4.3 mm drill bit. For certain companies, these drill bits come with a measuring scale as well. In order to take measurement while drilling. In order to fix a non-locking cortical screw, for 3.5 mm system, we will reuse a 2.5 mm drill bit to drill through the drill guide. And for 4.5 mm cortical screw, we will reuse a 3.2 mm drill bit. Next for non-locking screws, we will require a 3.5 mm and a 4.5 mm bone tap for 3.5 mm and 4.5 mm system. You can do the tap using a power drill or a quick coupling handle. You can fix this bone tap in the QC handle like this, then lock it and use it to do the tapping. This is generally available universally for both the 3.5 and 4.5 mm bone tap. After tapping, we will fix a 4.5 mm cortical screw in the non-locking hole of the plate. In order to do that, we will also require a 4.5 mm solid screwdriver. And for 4.9 mm locking canceller screw, or a 4.9 mm locking cortical screw. For both, we will require the same 4.5 mm solid screwdriver. For the 3.5 system plate, we will require a 3.5 mm solid screwdriver. After tapping, we will fix a 3.5 mm cortical screw in the non-locking hole of the plate. And in case, we will require to fix a locking screw. be 3.5 mm locking canceller screw or a 3.5 mm locking cortical screw 
For both the cases, we will use this 3.5 mm solid screwdriver. For 4.5 system, for locking screw, these two type of screwdrivers are used. 4.5 mm torque limiting screwdriver and 4.5 mm solid screwdriver. Torque limiting screwdrivers are used to check the final lock for locking screw. For 3.5 system, we will require a 3.5 mm torque limiting screwdriver and 3.5 mm solid screwdriver. Another type of screwdriver that can be used is quick coupling or QC screwdriver. This is used to fix a screw with the help of a power drill. This one is a 3.5 mm QC screwdriver and the larger one is a 4.5 mm QC screwdriver. After drilling, we will require a depth gauge to measure the length of the screw needed to be fixed. Coming down to the screws, for non-locking cortical screw, 4.5 mm, the length required will be from 24 mm up to 50 mm for 4.5 mm cortical screw, 4 pieces each. This is what a cortical screw looks like. For 4.9 mm locking cortical screw, the lens provided will be from 20 mm up to 90 mm. Four pieces of each size. This is a locking cortical screw. Now for 4.9 mm locking canceller screw, the lengths required are from 30 mm till 90 mm, 4 pieces each. For 3.5 mm system, 3.5 mm cortical screws are needed. Same from 20 mm to 50 mm size are, sizes are required. Four pieces of each size. For 3.5 mm locking screw from 20 mm till 90 mm four pieces of each length and lastly for 3.5 mm locking canceller screw from 30 mm to 90 mm four pieces of each size At times, surgeon might use 3.5 mm full thread canceller screw in order to fix a cancellous part of the fracture. This will be totally a surgeon's call if he wants to use it. It is provided with washer. The sizes and quantity required are same as a locking canceller screw. That is all for proximal tibia locking plates. If you have enjoyed the video, like it, share it. If you are new to our channel, subscribe it. Hit the bell icon to get the notifications for our upcoming videos. If you have any queries, comment below and we will surely reply back. If you want to know more about career prospects in orthopedic implant industry and wish to start a career in orthopedic implant industry, please click the link below in the description box and DM us to know more. Thank you and see you in our next video.